Coach Stutzman, you know, I got a, a very pleasant surprise today when you walked up behind me. Uh, I heard your voice. I got a little scared, but then I got happy. I knew the Nutsman was here. That's it. Did, did you like the t-shirt thing? They supplemented a t-shirt with Nutsman on it. Did you like that? I love it. That's fun. It's good. People, I think a lot of people take take uh, my personality wrong sometimes. You know, I, I like to have a good time, you know, and that's just a, you know, you gave me a nickname a long time ago. It stuck, and, you know, to be honest with you, it's fun. Looking at the team this year, I really love the, the output I saw out of Buffalo. You know, obviously we talked about that. The dual meet was in, in Kent right. in December. The leaps and bounds I saw from there to the MAC tournament and then obviously ultimately New York City. I mean, it was incredible, Coach. You guys are coming. Hey, hey, we're Bloom. We're, we're, Bloom, we're coming. We're Buffalo. We're coming. You'd always say that when you're at Bloom. I look at it at Buffalo now. You guys, it's coming along. Year three was, it's been it's been hard, but what's the last three years been like for you recruiting-wise and, and, and the grind on you as a person coaching? Well, uh, I've aged, you know, on, on um, just, you know, when I took the job three years ago. It's kind of actually three years ago, right around this time. You know, I, I, I hit the ground running. I was working the whole time, and we had 15 guys on the roster. I was begging kids to wrestle, and uh, now we have 39 guys on the roster. People want to come to UB and wrestle, and uh, it's been a, it's been a fun process process. Um, I don't wish it on my worst enemies, to be quite honest with you. It's, it's been a grind, but, uh, you know, this summer's finally, I think I'm going to, this is my last event I'll probably, you know, be, be at, and then I'm going to kick back and take some time with my family. I think they've earned it, and they deserve to have me home a little bit. I look at, you know, the guys we were just talking about and how you've developed guys at Bloomsburg, and you're in the process of developing guys at Buffalo, but, you know, you look at your Richard Perry, you know, your, your Matt Moley's, you look at um, Josh Veltries, you know, you, you dropped some names, Hickman. I look at these guys, and these guys, they really developed. Rusa, they developed under you. I, I'm looking at Cotton now. He's really developing under you. And, you know, Areola with a big win at right. the NCAA tournament. But what's the key to developing guys, how you develop guys and bring them in? Maybe guys that aren't state champs. Maybe they're fifth, seventh in the state. But developing that guy into a contender as an All-American, how do you do it? Well, first of all, you know, it's funny, though. You look at Josh Veltri, he's only he was second place in New York State Tournament. He lost he lost to Gresheimer in the state finals. And, you know, and at the end of the day, we end up having a better career. You know, and, and, and I think the same thing with Hickman and Rich Perry. A lot of those guys, and they just buy into what, what we're doing, and they buy into my personality, and uh, and, and they buy into, you know, what just what it takes to be great. We're, you know, watch the film all the time, just the lifestyle choices they're making. And uh, that's what's going on at UB right now. You know, the you know Jason Estevez and Tommy Forte, Kyle Aikens is a, one of my all-time favorites ever, you know, and uh, Jake Gunning. I mean, we got some guys right now that I think that are going to be on a cusp of getting deep into the national tournament. I saw freshmen and sophomores next year. I always mention names to people, uh, and they're, man, I can't even believe you remember that name, but <laughs> Kyle Sermonera. Only last and only Division I All-American ever in the history of Buffalo Athletics. Right. Is that still a thing? No, we had uh, we had a national champion um, shot putter. We're actually going to John Jones going to make the Olympic team here in the next couple weeks. But uh, other than that, Kyle Sermonera is a uh, Division One All-American at UB, and he's our only one. And uh, you know, it's my job right now to kind of not only get guys on the podium at the national tournament, but my job is to win MAC championships and uh, and win dual meets, and uh, that's what we're focusing on right now. You guys, you know, I look at the three years ago, I mean, you won two or three dual meets, I believe. Yes. Next year, you won six or seven. This year, how much you win? Ten. You won, you won you double digits. It, it's incredible, the turnaround. It's, like, obvious to someone like me who follows it out, you know. But looking at the recruiting process, you're down here in the south now. You're in rich, fertile wrestling ground where you're at, up in the, the, the Buffalo, New York right. area. Um, PA's right there. Yes. Ohio is the next state over. You can even reach down into Jersey, and then the New England's got some, some up-and-comers. But coming down and recruiting the South, how important is that kind of starting to, to bring some of these guys up there? It's important for me. You know, I want to build our brand. You know, uh, you know, UB, we have a strong academic institution, so we want to build that brand. We want to get the right kids. And I think kids are – there's great kids all around the country. we got to find the right fit for me and the right fit for the program, and, and that's what brings me down here. Uh, Hickman's a North Carolina guy. Yes. You know, that, that's a Southern guy. So the South's got wrestling. And I don't think people know that. You know, yeah. you obviously know that. But it's got guys, and there's guys who can challenge right. and, and be right there. Uh, looking at the staff, your staff right now, is it, it's Boomer. And then if you added any coaches or anything like that. Yeah, I just added Leroy Barnes from Missouri. I thought, uh, you know, if you look at what Brian Smith had done in Missouri, it's remarkable. You know, uh, it's been there, what, I don't know, a lot, a lot of years. But, uh, 
just what, what he did with his program and his system he has in place. I want to kind of, I thought it was important for me to, to, to get some money from a, a, a bigger program so I can bring them in and they could, they could help me build this thing and give me different fresh ideas to get these guys over the hall. Can you guys win a MAC championship? Is it a feasible thing? I know you believe it. Can you do it in the next two to three years? We're going to do it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be next year or the year after the year. We're going to do it. It's just a matter of when. Um, but, but whenever you got Missouri in the league, it just elevates everybody's game. And Old Dominion is going to be great next year. Northern Iowa is going to be great. Um, Ohio's tough. Our league is, is, is as good as now as it ever has been. You know, we're just we're just not a, we're, we don't have a lot of name brand schools. You know, if that makes sense. You know, we you know when ACC everybody thinks ACC is great and it is. It's a great conference. But guess what? We, we're pretty damn good too. And uh, and so we, I I think we're the second best top conference in the country right now. And we're going to keep striving to be number one. Uh, last thing, C3 coming down to this Cliff Fretwell, Southern Hospitality, right. <laughs> in and out of Atlanta. You know. Um, do you like the setup of this camp, how you can look at a guys, and what, what are you looking for in a student athlete when you're recruiting and you're here at this, you get a chance to see them drill, you're teaching some technique this afternoon, what are you looking for in a student athlete? Well, I, well, I want, you know, academically first and foremost, being at, being at UB, it's a tough academic institution, so you got to find the right kid, and then, then you want to find kids who really gravitate towards you and gravitate towards your personality, and, you know, and they do a lot of good things down here, you know, they, they, they I think they perfect the scrambling, <laughs> you know, and, and, and they bring a lot of great coaches down here. So it's just a good chance for me to get around these guys and, and once again, build UB's brand and just build better relationships with these guys. All right, Coach, you got anything else for me? No, I just think this, and uh, we had three, five to ten wins, and uh, I think that this is probably my hardest working team I've ever had in 18, 19 years of Division One coaching, so we're excited for the future. All right, hey, safe travels. Can't wait for some technique this afternoon. And uh, as always, thanks for the time, Nutsman. Thank you.